Hello everyone, welcome to prevent the solution given this algebra problem, which is x times x times x, subtract x times x, this is equal to 100. So what is the value of x? Now solution here, x times x times x, this is basically x to power 3, subtract x times x, which is x to power 2, this is equal to 100. Now from here, Let's take 100 on the left hand side so that we'll have x to power 3, subtract x to power 2, subtract 100, this is equal to, to 0. Now to solve for the value of x, now to solve for the value of x, we apply the rational root theorem, whereby we check for the rational roots among the factors of constant term. Now let's start with x equal to 1, okay? So let's plug x equal to 1 in this cubic equation. So we'll have 1 cubed, okay? Subtract 1 squared, okay? This should be equated to 100. And you find that 1 cubed, this is 1 minus 1, this is equal to 0, which is not equal to 100, okay? 0 is not equal to 100. So let's proceed to x equal to 2, okay? So let's substitute 2 to this equation. We'll have 2 cubed, which is basically 8. So when x is equal to 2, we'll have 2 cubed, which is 8, subtract 2 squared, which is actually 4, and this is not equal to 100. So this is actually equal to 4, which is not equal to 100. Now let's check for x equal to 3. Here we'll have 3 cubed, subtract 3 squared. Let's check if this is equal to 100. So 3 cubed, this is 27, subtract 9. Let's check if this is equal to 100. So this is equal to 18, which is not equal to 100. So again, we move to x equal to 4. So let's check x equal to 4 if this satisfies the equation. So we'll have 4 cubed, subtract 4 squared. Let's check if this is equal to 100. Now 4 cubed, this is actually 64. Subtract 4 squared, which is 16. And this is actually not equal to 100. 64 minus 16, this is 48. 48 is not equal to 100. Now let's check x equal to 5. Now here we'll have 5 cubed. Subtract 5 squared. This, Let's check if this is equal to 100. So 5 cubed, this is equal to 125. Subtract 5 squared, which is equal to 25. This is equal to 100. So this is 100 equal to 100. So that means we have x equal to 5. This satisfies the equation. So that means that one of the solution is x is equal to 5. Okay. Now from here, we have a, a, a polynomial cubic function, which is x cubed. We have x cubed. Subtract x squared. Subtract 100. This is equal to, to 0. And now given that x is equal to, now we have x is equal to 5, which is one of the solution. Now, since we have this um, cubic function, we can transform this cubic function into a quadratic equation by applying the syndentic, uh, syndentic division. Let's use the syndentic division here. Okay, now we, we have that x is equal to 5, all right? And the coefficient of this cubic function we have 1, we have x squared, this is negative 1. Now, we don't have x here, so we plug in 0. And then now we have the constant, which is actually negative 100. So now, let's use, drop this here, we'll have 1. So 5 times 1, this is actually 5. Now let's add here, negative 1 plus 5, this is actually equal to 4. Then 5 times 4, this is actually equal to 20. Then 0 plus 20, this is actually equal to 20. And then we'll have 20 times 5, this is basically equal to 100. And then negative 100 plus 100, this is equal to, to 0. Now you find that these are the coefficient. These are the coefficient of the quadratic equation. These are the coefficient of quadratic equation. Of quadratic equation okay so that means the quadratic equation here is x squared plus 
x plus 20. This is equal to, to 0. Now, let's write this equation nicely. x to the power 3, subtract x to the power 2, subtract 100. This can be expressed as x minus 5 x squared plus 4x plus 20 this is equal to 0 okay and we have two parts here we seen that we have x minus 5 this is equal to 0 and we have the quadratic equation which is x squared plus 4x plus 20 this is equal to to 0 so the first value of x here is equal to 5 which is a real solution now, let's solve for the other values of x in this quadratic equation. We have in this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 20. Now, to solve for the values of x, that is x2 and x3, we apply the quadratic formula, that is negative b plus or minus, the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we'll have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20. All this divided by 2 times 1. Okay, so let's proceed here. This is negative 4 plus or minus. The square root of 4 squared, this is 16, subtract 20 times 4, which is basically equal to 80. All this divided by 2. Now here, we'll have negative 4 plus or minus square root of <coughs> 16 minus 80, which is basically negative 64, divided by 2. Now from here, we'll have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of this negative 64 can be expressed as 64 times negative 1 divided by 2. So here, we'll have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 64, this is basically equal to 8, and square root of negative 1, this is i divided by 2. So this is equal to, now let's simplify here. This is negative 2 plus or minus 4i. Okay? So that means that we have x2 equal to negative 2 plus 4i and x3, x3 is negative 2 subtract 4i. Now these two, x2 and x3, these are two complex roots. These are two complex roots. Okay, and this cannot give us a real solution. So that means that the only real root here is x1, which is equal to 5. Now, given that x1 is equal to 5, let's verify that this real uh, root actually satisfies the equation. If you recall, we end x times x times x subtract x times x this is equal to 100 which is x to power 3 subtract x to power 2 this should give us a value of 100 now x here is 5 so it's 5 cubed minus 5 to power 2 this should give us a value of 100 5 cubed this is 125 subtract 5 squared which is basically 25 this should give us a value of 100 125 times 25 this is 100 which is equal to 100. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that affirms that we have three solutions. That is two complex solution and only one real root solution. So thank you for, for watching. Kindly follow the steps, like this video, and more importantly, subscribe.